Welcome to my Dream Life Project by Crystal Burns. Phase one, we're going to talk about my career as a middle school teacher. We're going to talk about what it means to be a teacher and calculating my disposable income. So as a teacher, you educate students. Um, a middle school teacher is specifically 6th through 8th grade. Um, and the general goal is to help students build on the fundamentals they learned in elementary school and prepare them for the more difficult curriculum they'll face in high school. My job outlook, as in what is it predicted to look like um, from the time span of 2014 to 2024, um, it is projected that the number of middle school teaching jobs will be increased by 6%, um, and that's roughly 36,800 jobs um, new would be created in the next 10 years. The average time at work, teachers usually usually spend 183 days a year in school. That is including professional developments, like developmental days. And they are typically home for dinner every night, have holidays off, and long summer vacations. Summer vacation is roughly about 8 to 10 weeks, depending on which school you work in. Education that's required to become a teacher. Usually you need to have at least a bachelor's degree. You need to have taken... Um, a variety of teaching courses that are specified by the particular state you live in. Um, for Maine, you have to take praxis exams before, before applying for certification, and then after applying for certification, you can get a job. The disposable income, um, after figuring out um, what my gross monthly income was of $2,904.17, taking out my federal taxes and my state taxes, I am left with $2,120.13. Um, in the state of Maine, teachers that have state retirement funds do not have to pay this tax, and I currently have that, so I don't actually pay Social Security. Um, and in a year, I would pay about $9,409.50 in federal and state taxes. Now, that seems like a lot, but I generally would get some back during um, when I get my tax return. So my housing situation, phase two, um, we're going to look at my house and the expenses that I would have with owning a house. So my house, the total cost, um, the purchase price was $119,000. My mortgage payment's roughly $900 per month, and we're located in Bancorp Gardens. Um... Our monthly expenses, my housing allowance by myself, so about 30% of my disposable income, is $8,871.25. If it wasn't for my spouse's income, I would not be able to afford this house, let alone all of the other bills. Our housing allowance combined is $1,794.34, but our total cost comes to $1,209. Um, our housing portion of our budget is roughly 20% of our disposable income, and that's rounded to the nearest 10. Um, I selected this house as it is in a good part of town, relatively new renovations. They recently added the two-car garage. Um, Fenced-in backyard and on a quiet street, and it has three bedrooms. That's enough for everyone in our family to have their own bedroom. Phase three is going to look at buying its transportation, so cars, and we have two. We have a, a 2009 Pontiac G6 and a 2013 GMC Envoy. Uh, I, bought, I bought this car because it's a great family car and has lots of space in the back seat, and it gets great gas mileage. Um, there's less than 80,000 miles on it. And the monthly cost with payment and insurance is about $219. For a 2013 GMC Envoy, this is my spouse's car. He wanted this car to be able to tow things, go off-roading, and have a vehicle with four-wheel drive during the winter. The monthly cost with payment and insurance is about $296. Um, I wouldn't be able to afford this vehicle without my spouse's income, even if I only owned one car. Other, we're going to focus on kids food and other costs, and savings and retirement. Um, I'll have two kids. On average, a child will cost about $1,000 per month per child for the first 25 years of their lives. Um, this so it will cost me about $2,000 a month, but that's including things like food, clothing, medical, 
um, medical expenses, daycare, and other costs associated specifically with having a child. Um, food and other costs. My family will live on the moderate food budget where we can occasionally go out to eat for dinner but not necessarily at, at a fancy restaurant or that often, maybe once or twice a month. Um, we'll have a dog because my children will need a friendly companion and it is great for protecting the house. And the other cost includes um, vacation, entertainment, and other bills my family may have that I didn't plan for. Because there's always little costs here and there. For savings and retirement, as a family we set aside about $400 a month to be prepared for any unexpected expenses. Um, so that's roughly about 7% of our disposable income. Um, and that would cover things like, you know, if the refrigerator broke or the car broke. Um, I put $110 a month away for my retirement, which was roughly 4% of my disposable income. And we contribute about $40 a month to our church, and I volunteer quite a bit for local organizations. In closing, I'm going to show you my budget graph and the resources I've used. My budget graph is just a kind of breakdown of how much exactly everything is um, out of our disposable income and with me and my spouse's disposable income added together we have about five thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars and eighty four cents and these are the resources that we used <music>